I had a reading last Thursday at the Triplex Cinema in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. And the last poem I read is from uh, my book on Right Bloody, The Last Time As We Are. And I first asked who the youngest person in the audience was. It turned out it was an 11-year-old kid named August. And I said, August, if we all died at age 100, exactly, then you would be the last among us here to die. And then, although I shouldn't have done so, I added, but I don't think you're that lucky. <laughs> anyway, here's the poem. It's called, What Bread to Eat. I don't want to tell you what you already know, so I won't tell you you're going to die. Even so, there was a time when such a revelation would have felt a curse. My mother told me not to cry, that she, not I, would be the first to die, which only made things worse. And someone here will be the next to die. This, too, must come as no surprise. But this isn't a poem about the death of that person, the next in this room to die. This is about something else instead, the very last one of us here to join the dead. He or she who outlives all the rest. When that day comes, and may it take its time, by then, who will care or even know we all once met, gathered to share stories, rhymes, wine, and bread, the rest of us all dead, except you, the last one to go? When that day comes, who then will know? I say, we will. We will be waiting for you in that other place, to do what we are doing now, face to face, with whatever wine the dead have to drink, what bread to eat, we will greet you and say, welcome, come and eat, take at last your empty seat. With apologies to August, I'm sure you'll outlive all the rest of us.